These are the four best methods to split the contents of a column into multiple columns like this. I'm Casper from Spreadsheeto and the first method is simply to use all fill. So just start typing here, Samuel, like this, and now John. But before you finish the word, you'll see this auto suggestion by Excel here. So don't do anything, just hit enter and the names are automatically extracted into the first names. Now we do the same for the last name. So Bartnik, Dumas. But before we finish that, you'll see these auto suggestions, just hit enter. And that's how to easily split full names into first names and last names. The next method is simply to do it with a few functions. And to split these product keys into the local codes, which are the first four and the specific codes, which are the last seven, just use the left function here and select this and type in the number of characters you want to extract from the left of the product key, which is four. Hit that and copy that down. And that's how to easily subtract the first four characters. Now let's do it again for the last seven. And that you can do with the mid function. And the mid function is extracts text from a certain position and then X character. So the text we want to extract from is the product key here. So the starting number is actually position number five, because that's just after the first four. And the number of characters is the number of characters we want to extract. And in this case, it's seven. But you could also just write 100 here because there are nothing after the seven. But just for good measures, write seven and hit enter. And that's how to extract the last seven digits from these product keys. Now, before we raise the bar here, please click the subscribe button below if you like this video. All right, so we're gonna do this with the text to column functionality in Excel. And we're gonna use that several times to split this into the first four, the mid four, and the last three digits. Now, select the data you have here like this and go to the data tab and hit text to columns. This guide will take you through the process, but there are two main ways of doing this, delimited or with fixed width. Fixed width are for columns where you know exactly where everything is. And in this case, we actually do, but I'm gonna show you the other way anyways, because that's more flexible. So delimited, go with that, so you, we can select where exactly this column will split. So click next, and now you can actually choose how to split the column. And in this case, we wanna do it with not the tab, not a semicolon, not a comma, not a space, but with an other delimiter. And in this case, that's the hyphen. So hit that, and now you can see in the preview that it actually splits correctly. So before we hit finish, click next, and forget about the date formats and stuff like that. That's not important for this but choose the destination of where you want these results to be. If you don't select anything here, it will simply overwrite the original data. But we don't want that right now, so I'm gonna select this and select this cell because I want it here. Now hit finish, and you can see the first four and the mid four are actually here. But it's not the mid four, it's actually the last of everything. So we need to do this one more time, so select the data, go to text to columns, and then we need to split it again. This time we're gonna use the fixed width to have the first four and then the last three. So select fixed width, go to the next. In the preview, you can select where exactly the data should split. And this is actually a pretty neat feature. So with your cursor, simply select exactly where that split should be. It's not here, it's not here, it's actually here. And every time I select this, another error appears. That means that it will split all these times and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna double click the lines that I don't want and you can see the little guide here that tells you what to do. So double click this, ah, got it now. Okay, so the first four and the last three, hit finish and there you have it. That's how to do it with the text to column feature which is pretty great. Before I show you the fourth method, if you want to learn more Excel after this, please check out my free online Excel training at spreadsheeto.com slash YouTube. Just go on the website here, scroll down the page and you can select the level of training you want to receive. So if you want to learn macros, for example, go here and click the button, enter your email address and I'll send it to you. 
For this example, I'm gonna use Power Query to split this product key into the first four, the next four, and the last three, excluding the hyphen. Select any cell in the data and go to the Data tab. Then to the left here in Get and Transform, hit From Table slash Range and hit OK. Now this is Power Query and it's really insanely good. I'm not gonna dive deep into Power Query here. I'm just gonna show you how to split columns with it. So we have the column here and you can go here in the Home tab to split it. And here you have a few options, just like you did with the text to column method. In this case, we want to do it by delimiter first. So select that. And because Power Query is super awesome, you have more options here. You can split at the first hyphen, the rightmost hyphen, if there is one, and each occurrence of the delimiter, which is a hyphen in this case. So if there were multiple hyphens in this data set, you could split it by each one. And that's pretty cool. But in this case, we just wanna do it by the leftmost delimiter, which actually doesn't matter at all because there is only one hyphen in each cell. So that doesn't really matter. Hit okay and that's it. Now you see that the data is split pretty easy. So to do it even further, select this column here and split it again. And in this case, we will do it by number of characters, which is gonna be four. And we're gonna do it once as far left as possible. That's, that means that we should have the first four digits in this column and the last three in this one. And we actually have that. I'm just gonna change the title here of these columns so we can see what it is. Last three, and that's it. Hit close and load. And in this new sheet, we will see the column split into three columns with Power Query. Pretty cool, huh? If you wanna learn more, please check out this video right here that should be a pretty good fit for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.